Dorothy Farrell here, our Akari. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing my multicolor bark fursuit, our AKA Autumn Fallings. I just want to put a disclaimer out there right now. This is um, a review off of my personal opinions, uh, my experiences, everyone's opinions and experiences may vary. Um, I will be going through and reviewing this in sections such as quality, Q&A, uh, communication, etc, uh, etc. Et uh, I will be supplying pros and cons, then overall rating these sections individually, uh, with 1 being the lowest and 10 being the highest uh, overall rating. At the end of the video, I will have a overall rating of multicolor box fursuits. Let's start with the wait time. I will be uh, sort of outlining a timeline for the wait time to help individuals get a better idea. Um, I was accepted for three, one of the three custom uh, multicolor bark fursuits on January 1st of 2017. I completely paid off my fursuit January 6th, 2017. I received my fursuit at MFF 2018. Um, November 28th, 2018, to be precise, uh, my first suit was actually hand delivered by Multicolor Bark themselves. Uh, I did a blind unboxing of my first suit. If you want to see that, uh, it's on my channel. Uh, link will be. With this timeline kind of laid out for everyone, uh, my personal rating for this wait, wait time will be 3 out of 10. Even though Multicolor Bark had broken their ankle, and it is un understandable for such a time gap to happen during something like that, um, there were a lot of missed deadlines, and the wait time did exceed a year. Again, these are just my personal experiences and my personal rating slash opinion, so if you disagree, that's totally fine. If everyone's opinions vary. From what I have seen, Multicolor Bark is working hard on defeating their long wait list, um, and I'm excited to see what they're planning for 2020. Uh, welcome to the Q&A part of this video. Um, I made a post on Twitter asking individuals to respond with some questions uh, they'd like answered on my Multicolor Bark review video. Navahayina asked, typically how long can you suit an Akari before 
becoming overheated or needing a break. Um, the breathability is actually really good on my fursuit. I usually don't have any issues fursuiting with them. However, at MFF, for their debut con, I had a lot of issues just because I was rooming in the embassy. Embassy was about a 30 minute walk from the sky bridges to the main hotel. Um, it was very strenuous in a fursuit, especially with digi padding. I ended up breaking the magic a lot at that con and I felt kind of really sad because as a debut con, I ended up breaking the magic a lot more than I wanted. I actually ended up giving people Akari's head in, in some photos just because I was just so overheated and hot and could not deal with taking photos or interacting with people at that point when they were asking. Uh, Bug Freak asked, how's the padding, uh, ventilation, vision, how does it feel and how does it move in general? The padding is actually some kind of pillow. Um, it's really comfortable. It kind of wraps around your hips and then goes in front of your legs. I'll demonstrate that in the quality section of this video to give you a better idea of what it looks like. The vision is actually pretty good um, in my fursuit and I know that's kind of strange for uh, feline fursuits. You usually have that blind spot right in front of the muzzle just because their nose, you know, um, and that's to be expected. No, I don't believe any fursuit vision is 100% perfect. Um, in, in my opinion, I feel like the vision is where it needs to be and it's actually at a great quality for my character uh, being feline. Uh, King Pepper asked, uh, how does the padding work? Uh, the padding is actually a pillow, like I described in the previous question. I'll also show and demonstrate that in the quality section of this video. K-Dog asked, were you a random pick or were you a friend? <laughs> That's a great question. Um, actually, I was not friends with Multicolor Bark when I got selected. I actually did not become friends with Multicolor Bark until about a year, maybe, or a half, about a half a year uh, when I moved to Minnesota uh, from Louisiana. I... She actually was a local here and we kind of became friends through mutual friends and such. Not picked because we were friends. I was She just liked my character and wanted to bring them to life. And I was I'm super excited that I got to be one of her original three that she picked for customs back in January of 2017. I know a lot of makers are eager to make friends fursuits. I feel as though they will only usually pick um, fursuits that match their style and really match what is the, in their vision is going to come out the best. Uh, is there he Aurora also asked, is there head? Are their heads hot compared to others? Uh, was the wait really long for multicolor bark? I don't feel myself overheating as much as I have when wearing other suits that I've owned or friend suit. Let me embody my persona a little bit um, and explain this a little further. First suits are like steaks. Um, you can get a great steak and it just be it be just as good as a filet mignon. Um, the quality can be there for both of them, but the differences are the price tag. Some people want a good steak, others may want the filet mignon. Uh, what you want is completely up to you. Um, you can find a really good steak for way cheaper than a filet, but some people just want to spend a little extra for that juicy filet, and that's okay. Let's get to the communication part of the video. Um, while waiting for my first suit, I was in the dark a lot, um, not really knowing what was going on. Most days it was watching the Maker's Trello just to get an idea of what was going on um, or just to get some kind of update throughout what was being worked on and to see if due dates had changed. Um, however, that greatly changed once Akari was being worked on. I received updates nearly daily, whips, etc. I, I was absolutely amazed that one come time for my first suit to be made that I was never in the dark ever again. Um, the lack of communication before working on the first suit was somewhat to be expected, but it was really crummy to be in the dark for so long, especially with a year's gap in between commissioning and receiving. We did gradually receive updates like when she broke her ankle or, um, you know, if, if certain things were going on and going to delay, um, delay progress, um, which was really nice. Um, overall, I will give communication a 6 out of 10. I feel as though there were some times that customers were completely in the dark. Um, 
But once progress had started, I was extremely impressed with the communication that and updates that I have been receiving. Overall, in my experience, um, I have to give Multicolor Bark a 8 out of 10. I feel as though with, uh, with everything that I experienced, my overall rating um, is very reasonable and just. Uh, I highly recommend this maker if you're ever interested in commissioning them. Jax is an outstanding person and creator. I look forward to seeing what animals they end up bringing to life in the future. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for stopping by.